I'm gonna fuck you tonight, baby. Leave that shit. I need your love. I want to grab you by your head, shake you around like this. Okay, look, yesterday I talked about depression and anxiety a little bit. Okay, I talked about how physically, your physical state can affect your mental state. If your mental state is affected, then your your physical state will be affected. So if you're fucked up in here, you're gonna start to do all sorts of crazy shit like take drugs, take fucking, take alcohol, smoking cigarettes, fuck your body up with bad food, um, addictions, all that sort of stuff, okay? It's gonna happen. Now, I've had extensive experience with depression and anxiety, okay? I've been clinically diagnosed with depression and anxiety, okay? so. I'm very familiar with the way this shit works. And through years and years of trial and error, I've come up with a way that works. It works for me. And today, I wanna to talk to you about my experiences. I wanna tell you a little, about, a little bit about me, about the defining moments that, that, that really helped me change. Not change, but have a different outlook. Because you don't really change, you just have a different outlook, a different, attitude towards life that has to be cultivated okay so let's start with me uh, about a year and a half ago when my daughter was born okay now this this was a hard time for me this was I'm gonna be completely honest this was this was something that I didn't think I, I, I needed in my life at the time so um, it was hard for me to accept at, at the beginning it was hard for me to accept this I love my daughter don't get me wrong but at the beginning, it was hard for me to accept that my life was now, I now had a daughter and um, there's been some situations before I've been in and now this one, there's no escape. Usually there's an escape, but this time there's no escape. And um, you know, at the start I was a little bit resentful. Uh, I was a little bit like, you know, shaking about, didn't know what the fuck to do, what do I do, fuck. I got a fucking kid now, what, what the fuck? How do, how do you be a dad? What do you fucking do here? What's this fucking thing? Yeah, it took me a while to get get used to the idea. I didn't want my life to change. I didn't like to do work. So, so yeah, and it turned out that our child, my daughter, wasn't the easiest baby in the world. I heard lots of stories about children being easy and they just sleep all the time, but sh our child literally did not sleep for more than half an hour at a time for the first three months of their life. Now, to add to this story, right, my wife was fucked up after the pregnancy. She was totally fucked up. And then, to put on top of that, I was out one day, I was filling up the car with petrol, and I got hit by a car, and my leg got broken. So now my leg's crushed and broken, and I'm sitting around the house with this, with this baby that I don't know what the fuck to do with. She's crying every fucking two minutes. I haven't got any sleep for the last fucking three weeks. My wife's fucking sick, she's got some internal fucking bleeding going on, I don't know what the fuck's going on. So I remember one night, I was sitting on the couch, right there, right there, you can't see it, but I was right there, and I was crying, I was like, fucking hell, what the fuck have I done? This is fucking mental, this is, I cannot handle this, I cannot do this anymore. And uh, that was really a defining moment for me, I, I knew something had to change, I knew something had to give, something had to break, it, it was either going to be me or, I don't know, the situation wasn't going to break. The situation was there to stay. So I was either going to be, yeah, I was going to break. Before this, uh, while this was all going on, I wasn't vegan, okay? I wasn't vegan yet. And I know what you're thinking, and, and I can see everyone turning off the, the fucking video saying, fuck, here we go, he's going to talk about fucking veganism. But the truth is, veganism saved my life. And, and that's the truth. This was a pivotal time in my life, this is where I could say to myself, I'm going to show my daughter 
how to live a, a good and happy life or how to live a shit life. And going vegan was for my health. Going vegan, I wanted to change the way I felt. I knew, I knew deep down inside that I wasn't fucked in the head. And you do too. If you have depression or you have anxiety, you know deep down inside your mind that there's nothing wrong with you. There is nothing wrong with you. Okay, so I went vegan. I thought, okay, going vegan might help. I, I, I'll actually put some effort into my diet and nutrition and see what all the hype's about and see what happens. And yes, it changed my life nearly immediately. I felt better. I slept better. I felt happier. I, the depression lifted a little bit. Anxiety lifted a little bit. I had to do other things to get to, to where I am now. And I'm going to tell you what that thing is. I accepted my situation. Firstly, you got to accept your situation. Secondly, I went vegan. So I changed my nutrition. My body started to feel better. I had more energy. I could I could deal with things, I could think I could think about things. The third and final and most important thing that I did was cultivate a sense of gratitude. Okay? Cultivating a sense of gratitude is the key. It is the key. Okay now, you might be saying, well James, I don't want to fucking think about those kids and thinking about kids in Syria getting bombs dropped on their heads isn't gonna help me. Thinking about homeless people who don't have anywhere to live isn't gonna help me. And I'll say that, okay, maybe you're right at the moment, but that's because you have a strong sense of entitlement. Okay, if you've grown up in Australia, and you've had, you know, semi-good parents, or you might have had fucked up parents, but you might have got everything that you wanted. Society and your friends have given you everything that you wanted. And um, maybe you've never really been stuck in a situation, but you have to focus if, if you want this depression and anxiety to be lifted, you have to really focus down and realize you do have a sense of entitlement at the moment. You have a sense of entitlement. You feel like you have the time and you have the, you have the time, you have the resources and you have the right to be unhappy. When really your life is full of goodness, instead of focusing on what you do have and the good things in your life, you're focusing on the shit things that are happening and you're really focusing on them. You're not half focusing on them or thinking them in the background for a couple of days. You are really focusing in on them. Oh, I don't have any money. And that's your main focus, that's your main goal. You've got to cultivate a sense of gratitude. Okay, you've got to be grateful just to be alive. You've got to be able to get to that point. And it's going to make such a huge difference in your life. It's hard to do, especially for younger people. I tried to do it when I was younger, never happened. It, I could never do it. But then I started to watch all the vegan YouTubers and, and they start talking about the animals. And I don't know, people are gonna say again, here we go, he's going on about fucking veganism. But really, try and put yourself in the shoes of the animals. Think about the hypocrisy. Think about what's really happening. Look at some videos of what happens to the fucking animals. Every day, they don't even have a voice. They don't even have a choice of what happens to them. They get forcibly raped and killed, okay, forcibly. They can't even communicate to us to tell us, no, no, this hurts, we don't like this. They can't even say that. They just get dealt with however they, however we want to fucking deal with them, they get dealt with that way. So they don't even have a fucking choice. They don't even have a voice. So that helped me a lot realise the hypocrisy that was going on in the world and everyone's sense of fucking entitlement. <laughs> so now I'm just happy to fucking wake up in the morning and see the sun and, and, and look at my daughter and, and just say, you know, I've got a beautiful daughter, I've got a beautiful life. I've got all the food I could ever want to eat, even though it's just simple food. We don't have a lot of money. Years ago, I would have just been in a, in a fucking coma right now, wondering what the fuck to do with my life. So that situation that I was in with my broken leg and my daughter, my, my wife being sick and my daughter not sleeping, for the first fucking first three months was the craziest situation I've ever been in. And I realized then that I could actually handle a lot more than what I thought I was capable of. And um, I wondered where, where could I go with this? If I can handle this, the only regret I have is that I couldn't manage to put a fucking smile on my face and make everyone else feel better about themselves because they were going through a hard time too. And um, I think now that's, that's what your goal should be. So fucking forget about yourself Focus on other people, focus on making other people happy. Focus on making other people smile. Focus on making the animals happy. Focus on not destroying the planet. Focus on that. Don't focus on what you don't have. It's all fucking material bullshit. Most of the stuff, 99% of the stuff we have is just material bullshit that we don't need. 
Like Abdullah says from the Glucose Network, what do you own? Three things. Your thoughts, your emotions, and what's the other thing? <laughs> and your fitness. Thoughts, your emotion, and fitness. It's the, the three most important things. It's the only things that you own. It's the only thing that matters, okay? You control your emotions. You control, you do control your emotions. You don't need no fucking doctors. You don't need no fucking clairvoyance. No fucking books. No fucking Eckhart Tolle books. No fucking whoever that Chuck Khan or whatever the, his cunt fucking name is. You don't need none of that shit. It's a choice in the moment to decide I'm going to be happy now. I am going to be happy. I'm at least going to put a smile on my face and realize I've got it good. And this situation will pass. This will pass. This is only going to be for this moment. It's not going to be a state forever. It's not going to be a state for two weeks. It's not going to be a state for two years. This state will pass and I am okay. I'm fine. I've got a good life. I live in a beautiful country. Unless you're clinically psychotic and then you need to go fucking, you need to go to the doctors. Okay? Because I can't help you. But I'm pretty sure you're not, well, actually, the whole fucking the society at large is, but that's, you can't fucking do that. You can only take responsibility for the individual that you are. And you're not even really an individual. Okay? Duality is an illusion.